13 Houston, go ahead. Okay, uh, one thing, Joe, I uh, just want to double check again. Now, all the stuff that, that normally was going to start at 57 hours, which the first item was pressurized, he is up to 5.7 PSI. We're going to move that up to 54 now, so we uh, we have our limp entry, which was nominally at 58 at 55. Is that correct? That's correct, Jim. This is Apollo Control Houston at 51 hours, 3 minutes, and now into the flight. Apollo 13 uh, presently shows an altitude of 168,651 nautical miles relative to Earth and uh, traveling at a velocity of uh, 3,455 feet per second. Among those presently at the uh, capsule communicators console here in Mission Control, is uh, Command Module Pilot uh, Ken Mattingly. We're at 51 hours, four minutes into the flight, and this is Apollo Control Houston. Apollo 13 Houston. Roger 13, uh, because of the uh, O2 tank 2 quantity sensor uh, dropout, uh, uh, ECOM wants to keep a little closer track of the uh, of the cryo quantities, and he's going to be asking you to stir all the cryo tanks at slightly more frequent intervals than uh, than have been planned. And the first time is now, and we'll be calling you probably every five or six hours, except during sleep periods and. Uh, and high activity periods. We'd like you to do it now, over. Okay, we'll uh, start a cryo stir now. Thank you. And uh, 13 Houston, for your information, a normal one minute or so stir will be. This is Apollo Control Houston at uh, 51 hours, uh, 17 minutes uh, now into the flight. We presently show Apollo 13 at a distance of 169,111 nautical miles out and uh, traveling at a speed of uh, 3,445 feet per second. In the uh, Mission Control Center, we're having a change in uh, capsule communicators. Vance Brand uh, has reported in uh, taking the place of Joe Kerwin. We're at uh, 51 hours, 18 minutes now. This is Apollo Control, Houston. This is Apollo Control Houston at uh, 51 hours, uh, 29 minutes uh, now into the flight. Apollo 13, uh, now 169,526 nautical miles uh, in altitude. And traveling at a velocity of uh, 3,436 feet per second. Uh, we've had uh, no communications uh, with the crew of Apollo 13 for about the last 30 minutes. It's uh, very possible that they've also stepped ahead uh, the eat period uh, in their flight plan. We'll stand by, however, and continue to monitor. And at uh, 51 hours, uh, 30 minutes into the flight, uh, this is Apollo Control, Houston.
This is Apollo Control Houston at uh, 52 hours, uh, 7 minutes. Uh, now to the flight of Apollo 13. Our digital display presently shows uh, the Apollo 13 spacecraft at uh, an altitude of 170,752 nautical miles. Continuing to slow down now at a speed of uh, 3,410 feet per second. A relatively quiet period uh, here on the uh, second shift uh, that the uh, white flight control team has pulled at uh, this point in time. Most of the flight controllers uh, talking things over with their respective back rooms. Uh, we uh, have not had contact uh, with a crew uh, for almost an hour. We'll stand by uh, and continue to monitor at uh, 52 hours, uh, 7 minutes into the flight. Uh, this is Apollo Control, Houston. Apollo 13, Houston. Go ahead, Houston. Uh, Jim, uh, just uh, advisory, uh, expect a caution and warning on H2 Tank 1. Pretty quick, uh, no problem, just warning you about it. Okay, I got a pressure light on H2 uh, Tank 1, uh, coming on shortly, huh? Right. Okay. Close. It just came on. Any other predictions you'd like? Well, there's, uh, I guess there's all sorts. Did you go the horse race with me? I'm sorry, you were garbled. Say again. I said I'd like to invite you to the horse race with me. Right. We'll, uh, we'll send ECOM. That was Vance Brand uh, with a caution and warning light advisory, timed almost to the second. Jim Lovell responded from the spacecraft. Uh, we're at 52 hours and nine minutes now into the flight and show Apollo 13 at 170,831 nautical miles above the Earth, traveling at a speed of uh, 3,408 feet per second. Gene Krantz uh, just spoke to the ECOM and said, uh, that's pretty lucky. And then he said, oh, correction, that's pretty skillful. We're at uh, 52 hours, uh, 10 minutes into the flight, and this is Apollo Control, Houston. And uh, uh, some grits, huh? Ciao. Bon appetit. Apollo Control Houston, that was uh, Fred Hayes, a native of Mississippi saying it's uh, time for some grits in here now. Obviously, his uh, conversion uh, for describing its mealtime. We're at 52 hours, 18 minutes into the flight, and this is Apollo Control, Houston. This is Apollo Control Houston at uh, 52 hours, uh, 23 minutes, uh, now into the mission. Apollo 13 is presently uh, 171,246 nautical miles away from Earth. Its uh, present uh, velocity reads uh, 3,399 feet per second. Continuing to monitor, this is Apollo Control Houston.
This is Apollo Control Houston at uh, 52 hours, 36 minutes into the flight of Apollo 13. The Apollo 13 spacecraft now shows a distance of 171,726 nautical miles away from Earth, traveling at a speed of uh, 3,389 feet per second. We've just received a further update uh, from the uh, flight dynamics officer uh, with regard to uh, predicted uh, time and coordinates for the S-4B impact. We now read uh, a time of impact of 77 hours, 56 minutes, uh, 45 seconds, with uh, coordinates uh, now displayed uh, here in mission control of 2 degrees, uh, 33 minutes south, 18 degrees, 18 minutes west. We're at uh, 52 hours, 37 minutes into the flight, and this is Apollo Control Houston. Apollo control. It's Apollo control, Houston, uh, 52 hours, uh, 48 minutes now into the flight. Spacecraft Apollo 13 now at an altitude of 172,125 nautical miles and going at a speed of 3,381 feet per second. In that uh, last conversational exchange, we heard from both uh, Jim Lovell and then later describing the ham salad sandwich of Fred Hayes. We're at uh, 52 hours, uh, 49 minutes uh, 
end of the flight and continuing to monitor. This is Apollo Control, Houston. This is Apollo Control Houston at uh, 53 hours, 8 minutes into the mission. We now show uh, Apollo 13 at a distance of 172,771 nautical miles and uh, traveling at a rate of speed of 3,367 feet per second. This is Apollo Control Houston. Apollo Control Houston at uh, 53 hours, 21 minutes into the flight. Apollo 13 uh, now at a distance of 173,207 nautical miles and uh, proceeding at a speed of 3,358 uh, feet per second. That last report came to us uh, from spacecraft commander uh, Jim Lovell. There's a discussion uh, here in the control center now as to what our response may be. We're at uh, 53 hours, 22 minutes, and continuing to monitor. This is Apollo Control, Houston. your LEM slash CM Delta P, uh, which was on the flat plan for 53 hours. What did you vent it down to, over? We have 1.7 now. We vented it down to that figure. Okay, you vented down to 1.7, and uh, what did it start at? It was about 1.1 then. Roger, copy. This is Apollo Control Houston, 53 hours, uh, 28 minutes. Uh, there you heard the uh, response uh, from Capcom Vance Brand. Clearing the Apollo 13 commander and lunar module pilot uh, 
for going into the limb uh, about an hour earlier than had previously been planned. However, uh, the uh, television transmission time will remain unchanged at uh, 55 hours ground elapsed time. We presently saw, show Apollo 13 at an altitude of 173,422 nautical miles and at a velocity of uh, 3,354 feet per second. This is Apollo Control Houston. Go ahead, 13. Uh, what are y'all reading for, uh, suit pressure down there? Uh, we're reading 4.3, Fred. Okay. This is Apollo Control Houston, uh, so we have Jim Lovell and Fred Hayes cleared to go inside Aquarius a bit early, and uh, they're proceeding in that direction now. Although uh, Jim Lovell is presently the only astronaut to have taken a second trip uh, atop the Saturn V, and is the first of his group to make a second journey uh, to the moon, this evening uh, will mark his first step inside the lunar module in flight. The Apollo 8 crew uh, circle the moon uh, with the command and service modules only. We'll stand by and continue to monitor at uh, 53 hours, 36 minutes into the flight. Stand by. Follow thirteen, Houston. Jim, uh, that increase in pressure is normal because it was uh, just tracking an increase in cabin pressure. from Houston, uh, it's okay with us if uh, you want to move the O2 fuel cell purge in the wastewater dump up to this time over. Okay, we'll work it in there shortly. Thank you. Right. 
This is Apollo Control Houston at uh, 53 hours, uh, 44 minutes into the mission. Apollo 13 uh, at the present time, 173,934 nautical miles out from Earth. And uh, now going at a speed of uh, 3,343 uh, feet per second. We're at 53 hours, uh, 44 minutes, and this is Apollo Control, Houston. Apollo 13, Houston. Uh, Jim recommends you stay in the PTC until uh, we stop it for the TV at 55 hours, in case you were thinking of it. Go ahead, Houston. Roger, recommend you continue PTC until 55 hours over. Apollo Control Houston, uh, ECOM uh, confirms to Flight Director Gene Kranz that the uh, fuel cells are being purged and the water dump being accomplished at this time. Uh, that's affirmed, Jim. How do you read now? Okay, we're reading loud and clear. Okay, uh, the only comment that we just made was that uh, in case you were thinking of stopping PTC, there's no need to stop it until 55 GET when the TV starts. Right, we'll stop it uh, when we're setting up our uh, TV. Roger. Apollo Control, Houston, uh, 53 hours, uh, 48 minutes. Uh, ECOM uh, confirms to Flight Director Gene Krantz that the cabin pressures are being equalized now. We uh, presently show Apollo 13 at an altitude of 174,070 nautical miles and uh, traveling at a speed of uh, 3,340 feet per second. We're at 53 hours, 48 minutes. This is Apollo Control, Houston. Apollo Control Houston, uh, 53 hours, 51 minutes. Uh, ECOM reports uh, the uh, cabin pressures have leveled off now, reading 4.7, 4.8. We now show Apollo 13 at 174,160 nautical miles away and uh, going at a speed of uh, 3,338 uh, feet per second. This is Apollo Control Houston. Houston, Roger. It's Apollo Control, Houston, uh, 53 hours, 55 minutes. That was uh, backup commander for Apollo 13, John Young, uh, returning that call from the spacecraft. Capsule communicator Vance Brand has left his console for a brief period of time to attend a meeting uh, on uh, the limb activation procedures and the uh, monitoring of the super uh, critical uh, helium tank readings. We're at uh, 53 hours, 55 minutes, and now show Apollo 13 at 174,309 nautical miles. 
and traveling at a rate of speed of 3,500, correction, uh, 3,335 feet per second. This is Apollo Control, Houston. Control Houston. Uh, that was Fred Hayes uh, telling Houston that uh, they're ready to proceed with hatch opening. No, this is Jack's replacement. Apollo 13 apparently mystified for the moment uh, about John Young's voice. We show 13 at an altitude of 174,664 nautical miles and with a velocity of 3,328 feet per second. We're now at uh, 54 hours, 7 minutes into the flight, and this is Apollo Control, Houston.
Okay, we're back on CSM power. Time was 54 hours, 58 minutes, 50 seconds. Roger, Jack, 545850. Thank you.